Okay, hey, CO300, uh, I wanted to give you a breakdown of what I would be doing to best prepare yourself for the rest of the semester with the work you're doing this week. So we are deep in our advocacy campaign research, and this is pretty much what we're working on for the rest of the semester. I just had a couple questions from students that were similar enough that I wanted to address them with you, and it's mainly the question, I'm stuck on where to go with my research, I'm not sure I'm going in the right direction one question and the other question was um, you know what should I do differently this week to get the most out of this assignment um, and there's basically two things I wanted to highlight for you I keep this really short that an argument is like a tree kind of geeked out about this earlier and to remember Rogerian argument as a way to deepen your investigation into your issue um, so basically I'm gonna be assessing your final essay and your research on how well you go deeply into a narrow issue to consider or address and research the particular a particular person employee or group so I don't want your audience to be parents because that's too vague and varied but you could write to the National Center for Children in Poverty um, which has a website nccp.org uh, and they interact with parents um, your eventual target stakeholder needs to be in a position to address the target exigence that you've been researching and hopefully that that can be as narrow as possible in a way to do that, and our one way to do that, is to also remember Rogerian argument and that you are thinking about what your argument's going to be and what another person's argument is going to be. So um, first, just these two ideas are going together. Where you are looking for ideally a thesis that is some kind of a claim that involves an action, a specific action that a specific audience should take to bring about a specific change to an exigence. You're going to have reasons that support your thesis. And you're also going to need to address a counter argument, but I'm going to put this as an anti-thesis or antithesis. And this is, we talked about as a counter argument or an objection to what your thesis is. This is the thesis, reasons, and evidence and explanation to make it a tree. Your antithesis, counterargument, or objection, some other perspective also needs to have some support. It's okay if you don't have all of these reasons, but you should at least see this framework. Okay, we read in Tannen earlier that thinking about your um, topic in black and white, either this or that, where there's an opposition, is oftentimes not actually the way the world really works in terms of argument. And instead, you might think of your claim as an offering. Offering to a particular audience to adopt or consider something that's going to help them with the problem they're having. The counter argument might just be another perspective. Like you might both agree, but instead of focusing on childhood poverty, you wanna focus on childhood nutrition or something like that. It's kind of a weird example. The point being to get deeper into your research as you go, I would like to see, and you're going to eventually need to consider what you wouldn't say. So you're trying to consider and research someone else's perspective. That's the heart of Rogerian argument because you are looking into someone else's work, someone else's perspective to better inform yours. By the way, this outline 
is what you're going to turn into your PowerPoint project. So your PowerPoint is going to be a presentation of what you want your thesis to be, which means who your who your audience is, what action you want to take, what reasons um, they have to take said action, some objection or a counter argument, an antithesis to your thesis, and then a response to that. This could be a refutation, but you don't necessarily need to prove them wrong. It's possible that you're both right. And that would be the more, this is the Rogerian side of things, where you're really considering another perspective that's not yours. This is how to expand your research. Also filling out this, you're gonna turn this outline into your PowerPoint, and then you're gonna turn your PowerPoint into your essay. PowerPoint's due on April 24th, the essay is due on May 6th. That's what's going on. I'm available to meet. I'm also gonna set up a Zoom meeting for lunch on Friday. Um, I'll send out an invitation for that if you want to drop in and chat for an informal office hour Zoom meeting on Friday. Um, I hope this gives you an idea to think about where your research is and what you need to fill out in terms of understanding another perspective that might help um, you understand your own perspective a little bit better. All right, hope this helps. Hope you all are doing well. And, um, yeah, take care. Let me know if I can help.